Hello, it's Miss Quackenbush, and I'm going to help you create a graph in Google Sheets. I have Sam here with me. Sam, you want to say hi? Hi, it's Sam here. It's so nice meeting all of you yesterday. You were awesome, and I hope that you come up with some awesome graphs. I'll see you again later this year, possibly. Have fun. Thanks, Sam. Okay, we're ready to roll. The first thing you want to do is select your data. So you need to start up at the top and highlight all your pieces of data. Remember, only get the numbers. We're going to include our variable of height, which is the independent variable, and our variable of arm length, which is our dependent variable. Remember, arm length depends on our height. Once you have that selected, you come over here to the menu and click Insert and you select chart. Google Sheets calls graphs charts and then when you come up here you need to select your chart type. We're going to make a scatter plot because we don't really know the relationship between our data points yet so select scatter and we'll select this one with the smaller data points. Here's our data. Now we actually need to do some work on it so we'll just come over here we'll insert this and it goes right into our spreadsheet. And if we come over here to this menu, we'll do some advanced editing. We can enter in a chart title. So the chart title is going to be something like height and arm length. Oops. Arm length of students. for Sam. Okay, and we scroll down this little menu over here and we're going to first look at our horizontal axis. That's right there. And we want to give the horizontal axis a title and in this case on the horizontal axis which is the x-axis it's height. We want to put our units in parentheses. Height is the independent variable on the x-axis. Uh, we see that our data goes from 140 to about 160, so I'd actually like to start just a tiny bit earlier, 130, and maybe go to 170, just so we don't have our data too near the edges. If we come down here, we want to look at the grid line. So we have one, two, three, four, five grid lines, but I'd like some minor ones in there, so I want four in between each of those. So now I do 132, 134, 136, 138, 140. Um, you notice I, I'm not sure of a way to put tick marks on here but we would put that on our handwritten graphs for sure. So that looks pretty good for our horizontal axis. So let's now go to our vertical axis which is also our independent axis. We want the title to be um, arm length and of course we want to put centimeters in there, that's what we measured it, in parentheses. Um, we'd probably want to make our value to be about 30 to start with and 60 is good so our data kind of shows a trend in there. We don't have to put in a max, it selected it for us. So then we still want to maybe put in a few more minor grid lines here, see the grid lines? And I'd say maybe we want to put in um, four in there too. So now notice when we come over to this data point, the x value is 141 and the y value is 45. So it's a height of 141 and a value of an arm length of 45 centimeters. So what we do there is update like that and we have a beautiful, beautiful graph. So. The one thing we could do, oops, which I didn't do, is click over here. We'll go back to the advanced edit. At the very bottom of the advanced edit, there's a thing called trend line. And we'd actually like to put in a linear, linear means a line, trend line, just to show our trend. And for those of you who understand a little more advanced math, if you come onto the line, you see our equation for this line is y equals 0.421 times x minus 15.98. So there is our, um, there is our um, equation. We'll update that 
And now we'd like to put it into a document, possibly. Let's say we were doing a lab. We want to come down to this menu, Copy Chart. We'd go and find our document that we want it to be in. And we would right click. Oops, no right clicking here. Edit, Paste. And there's your beautiful chart. So in this, we call it a graph. Google Sheets calls it a chart, but it looks beautiful. We can see as height goes up, so does the arm length. So there you have it. Thanks for listening. Make Sam proud.